Drawing a koala is easier than you think, and I'm going to show you exactly how you can do it, no matter your skill level. Hello wonderful people, it's Genevieve, and my goal here on the channel is to teach you all about illustration and design. So if you're new, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the weekly videos, and so that you can join our wonderful creative community. And with that said, grab your drawing tools, and let's get started. A couple weeks ago, you might have seen that I posted a video, well, a mini series on how to draw a lion. And in that mini series, I split the sketching part and the coloring part in two different videos, which allowed me to go in more details into how to sketch the lion, especially because it was a little bit more of a complicated character. And the feedback on this format was really positive, so we're going to do this again since this koala is a little bit more complicated. So this video is going to be the first part in which we're going to sketch the koala, and then later this week on Saturday, the coloring part is going to come out as well. But don't worry, if you're not a fan of this format and you prefer videos in which we do both the sketch and the coloring all in one, I'm also going to be doing some of those. So I'm just going to be mix and matching both formats, depending on the complexity of the character. And with that out of the way, let's start sketching our character here. And I'm going to be drawing in an app on the iPad, which is called Procreate, but you can follow along with really any drawing tools you have, especially for the sketching part, it really doesn't matter. Now for reference, these are the dimension of the canvas that I'm using, it's literally just the size of the iPad screen, since this is just a demo, it doesn't matter, but make sure that you pick a canvas size that works for your own project requirements. And if you're not exactly sure what that means, I have a video in which I explain everything you need to know in order to pick a canvas size, which I will link in the description below if you want to check it out. Now the first thing we're going to do if you're working in Procreate is set your background color to this color here. You can pick whatever you want honestly, but I recommend this blue. It's going to be kind of the base blue for everything we do. And then we're going to go ahead and create a new layer and we're going to rename this layer to Sketch. If you're working on paper, obviously you cannot create layers, so for this sketch try to draw really really lightly so that later we can go back and refine the sketch by pressing harder. And we're going to sketch in white here since we're working on a really dark background, so just go ahead and pick white. Now another thing that I did in the lion video was starting with the example in the background with a low opacity and just showing you how I usually break down characters for sketching, because when you draw a character you don't just go ahead and draw the entire outline all at one, you try to break the character down in the most basic shape possible, but that does require a little bit of practice to be able to dissect, I guess, the character. So I'm going to show you how I would dissect this character here, so you can just follow along really easily. Now in terms of brushes, you can use in the sketching panel the HP pencil, or if you have my illustration bundle, you can pick the sketching brush. Again, the brushes are really not essential here since we're just sketching, so pick whatever you know you like sketching with. And here we're going to start by just mapping out where everything is going to be. And the pretty much the most important thing in terms of placement in this illustration is the branch on which the cola is holding. So you can start by drawing whichever kind of size branch you want, whichever angle branch you want. And from there, we're going to start adding the stuff for the koala. Now the koala, you can see the main shapes are pretty much two circles, one for the head and one for the body, and they're roughly the same size. So you can start by just sketching two circles like this that are roughly going to give you the position for your koala. And don't worry about being precise here, we just want to roughly map out everything. So you can see my circles are kind of wobbly, that's totally fine. Another thing that is really helpful to do is figuring out where the middle lines are for the head, so vertical and horizontal, and that just helps you with the angle of everything and then positioning everything. You can also do the middle line for the body in here. I think mine is going to be slightly more angled towards the left as opposed to the right, so the head is kind of facing a little bit more towards the right and the body is a little bit more towards the left. Very subtle, but you know, <laughs> it's always good to keep that in mind. Now, once you have that, you can go ahead and add the other elements that are actually going to help you position your koala on the branch, so the limbs. And for that, I like to draw two little ovals of where the shoulders would be. So that's really helpful in terms of drawing the arms. And for the arms, as you can see here, I just draw kind of little bean shapes, so nothing super complicated. You just want to make sure that they go from the shoulder down to the branch, and then you can add a little circle or oval or whatever for the hand. Now, same thing here, we won't really see the bean because it's behind the tree, so you can kind of not even draw this arm part. And then you can draw ovals for the fingers, so they're going to be wrapping around, so you're going to get, I guess, kind of a thumb, and then three other, well, it wouldn't technically be four, but I'm just drawing three, <laughs> three fingers on the other side. 
And same for the legs, you're probably just going to be drawing the thighs, I guess, to two ovals there and then two ovals for the feet. So now it looks like a big messy bunch of lines, but don't worry, we're going to clean that up later to actually make it look like a nice sketch. But before that, we're going to add the ears, because the ears are really super important on the koala. We want to have them being almost the same size as the head and the body, so we're always going to just be drawing these basic shapes, which in this case, again, two little ovals. And you want to make sure that they're placed lower on the head so you don't have a lot of overhead space, otherwise it's going to look kind of like Mickey Mouse and we don't really want that. And the bottom line is going to fall roughly in line with the middle of the face. We're also going to be drawing the nose, which is super important for the koala. It's this big rounded rectangle shape, which is put pretty much exactly in the middle of the face. So you can see all coordinates are pretty much the same size. And one advice I have for you, whenever you're drawing cartoon animals, try to avoid having both the nose and the eyes being big. Otherwise the face looks really, really crowded and there's kind of no focus point. So here, since the nose is super big, we're just going to be drawing two little dots for the eyes. So nothing more complicated than that. And you can also sketch a very simple mouth. I always like to draw the corners of the mouth. It just makes it look really cute and like the character is super happy. So something a little bit like this. And at this point we can go ahead and hide, well you won't have the example, but in this case I'm gonna go ahead and hide the example and we're going to refine the sketch. You could honestly move on to the color from here. I would advise though that you might want to clean up the sketch a little bit more, especially if you're new to illustration and drawing. It is really helpful to just go over and find which line we actually want to use. And for that, we're going to lower the opacity of the base sketch and then create a new layer above it and rename that one to clean sketch. And here, all we're going to do is pick which line we actually want to use from the jumble of lines that we've created in the rough sketch. So there's really no magic trick here, to be honest with you guys. You just go over and pick which line you want to use in your you know, colored illustration. But it doesn't need to be perfect lines. It doesn't need to be really smooth and nice because we're not gonna see the sketch in the final result anyway. So don't spend too much time here, but spend enough time so that you know what you're about to be coloring, basically. And just like that, it is time for the secret password. So if you've watched this part of the video, please go ahead and comment eucalyptus. If you're new on the channel, you might be like, what's what's the deal with secret password? Well, we've been doing this for a few months now and honestly, it is really super fun. You guys seem to really enjoy it whenever I forget to put one in the videos you ask, you know, you, you ask for it. So <laughs> we're gonna keep on doing it. But basically it gives me a lot of insight into how to edit and pace my videos better, which helps me to create better tutorials for you guys. But the fun part about it, the really fun part about it is that it allows us to see the creative community that we're building here on the channel because I mean you guys know me, you hear my voice, you see my face, but I have no idea who you are and whenever you leave a comment I get to see either your face, either your name, sometimes both and yeah it's just really great to see who's drawing, you know, who's doing this with me and for you it's also nice to see who else is doing the tutorials that you are doing, if that makes sense. <laughs> So yeah, just go ahead and comment eucalyptus and then we're gonna keep going with cleaning up our sketch. Speaking of which, I'm gonna stop talking to let you really focus. Please take all the time you need here. Don't be afraid to pause the video and we're gonna meet at the next step in which I'm gonna give you some tips to make sure that your sketch is really, really ready for the color. Great, so once you're done finding your line, you can either hide the sketch layer and just keep going with the clean sketch. I personally like to keep both because I feel like the rough sketch gives a better idea of the volume of the character as well. The clean sketch looks a little bit too plain for me, but that's really a personal preference, so feel free to use just one of those. I like to just merge them and go with kind of that combined sketch before adding the color. Now, one thing that you might want to do in order to double check your sketch is flip it. So using the arrow tool, if you're working in Procreate, just flipping horizontally like this. And if you're working on paper, you can always just hold your piece of paper in front of the mirror. 
Now flipping your sketch is really important because it allows you to see what's not quite right with it. It gives you a fresher look on your sketch and it's much easier to fix kind of mistakes on the sketch part of the process as opposed to with all the colors and everything. So in my case, it's usually the eyes are like slightly misaligned and some shapes are not quite right. So just kind of try and see what is not necessarily quite right on your sketch. Try to fix it the best you can here and you can kind of flip back and forth to see what you know what you're doing a little bit better and just like that we're going to be ready to add the colors so part two of the videos like i was telling you is going to come out this saturday in just a few days you won't have to wait too long but if you're really eager to keep drawing more cute animals you can check out this playlist in which i'm going to teach you how to draw a bunch more cute animals like a cat a dog we have a bear we have an otter so many other cute animals so you can definitely check it out if you want to keep drawing it is the link right here but before you leave make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos then just click on the link right here and I'll meet you there.